how to compare different countries or states so how do we compare different countries and states the one basic vision of comparing countries and states is income we take the income into consideration and that is how we compare different countries and different states so the the countries with higher income are called as better than the ones who are having the lower income therefore income of the country and of all the residents of the country is taken into consideration however total income is not the perfect solution can you guess why why is total income is not a good solution because it will definitely be dependent on population where the people are more there is a very high probability that the income is going to be a lot more higher than the countries where the income of the people due to lesser population is there is going to be less so if the population is more then the contribution to income is of those people will be more and if the population is less then the contribution will be less so to curb it we take into account the average income we take into account the average income which is also called as per capita income average income is also called as per capita income and average income is equal to very simply total income of the country upon total population so the total income upon total population is the average income of the whole country and which is a good mark to you know uh, judge or compare the different states or countries whether they are growing or not as per the world developmental report by the world bank year 2019 countries with per capita income of us dollar 43900 per annum countries with per capita income of us dollar 43900 are called as rich countries and the countries with per capita income of us dollar 2500 or less are called as low income countries and india barely is having a per capita income of us dollar 6700 in comparison to the figure of 43900 in usd as per world report let's talk about average income what do we mean by average income we just told we just discussed total income upon total population is known as per capita average income which is also called as per capita income right it is a twin edged sword that is it it may be good for comparison but it ignores the impact of extreme disparity let us take an example we have basically over here two countries having different income 9500 10,000 10,000 10,000 and 12, and in the second case we have 5,5,5,5,500 and 48,000. So if we calculate the average of the second one, it is going to be 50,000 by 5, which comes out to be 10,000. And if we do the total of the second one, uh, 20,000. Thirty thousand, thirty thousand again, again fifty thousand. So the per capita income of both the cases 
is 10,000. But if you look at the values, we can clearly see something which is in the country B, the concept of equal distribution of income is totally ignored whereas in country A, this concept is taken into consideration. We can clearly see that all the people are somewhere near around the average. And over here, only one person is rich, rest all other four are very poor. So from this, we cannot calculate that both the countries are at similar level because if we take the concept of average in income into consideration and if we compare it, we will say both of them are equal. So yes, that is why it is a twin edged sword because despite it gives a comparison, but it totally ignores equitable distribution concept.